Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hot Roulette, and today we're bringing guys episode number 23. So, last episode, we ended off with a one-game win streak, and we're trying to bring it up to a second, and uh, I also want to apologize as well. I've been posted on Hot Roulette in just about one and a half weeks, so the last episode posted out was July 4th, so it's been a while. I want to apologize, but I do want to get back into this. So, anyways, let's get right into the team, and uh, we'll start a couple games. So, Evgeny Malkin, Brian Boyle, and Matt Duchesne on my first line, as well as Lemieux, Getzlap, and Voracek, Ben, Sakic, Perry, as well as Giroux, Eric Stahl, and Zach Parise. That's my offense. The defense looking like Cronwall, Pecorine, P.K. Subban. You guys told me to move him up to the first line, so I did that. As well as Kevin Shattenkirk, Victor Hedman, Ryan McDonough, Seth Jones, and of course Pecorine in net. So, anyways, we're going to get into three games here. Let's start off the first game. Let's see what we can do. Alright, so we're starting off this game facing a Pittsburgh Penguins fan. He's got Phil Kessel, he's got Chris Kunitz, and uh, Phil Kessel on the left wing. Oh man, alright, let's get this game going. Uh, let's see what we can do. Oh no, and right off the bat, he scores a goal with, I think that was Chris Kunitz. The Phil Kessel on the Crosby line is working for him right now. Hopefully uh, it's not like that in real life. But anyways, it's now one to nothing. Let's keep going. Oh my goodness, what a shot! Oh, come on, Boyle. So close. Oh my goodness, another one. Pecorine, what are you doing, man? Literally just shot it straight at him, and it went right through him. And uh, now it is 2 to nothing in the second period. Cannot get anything going. Oh, and we get a goal finally. Zach Parise wires it, and we make it 2-1. to one. Oh, there it is. P.K. Subban, the debut goal, absolutely turning everybody inside out. And we finally tie it up. So now it's 2-2 two to two in the second period. Alright, so that is the end of the second period. A pretty ironic uh, username the other guy has, but it is now 11 to 6 in shots, 5 minutes time on attack to 3. So, we're playing pretty good so far, we just gotta keep it up. Oh no, Brian Boyle, we're pulling off some nasty dangles. I want to do the backhand, but I haven't played in so long, it's just so hard to control my players. But, come on. Don't let him in front of the net. Oh, Jesus. Nice save, Pecorini. Keep it out. Yes. Oh, the sacrifice play. Oh, Brian Boyle. <laughs> no, he blocked the net. All right, start of overtime. Let's see what we can do with Sidney Crosby on the ice. So there's only like five minutes uh, for overtime. So let's see what we can do. Pass it up to Malkin. All the way across to Duchesne. Let's go, let's go. We got this, we got this. Shoot. Yeah, there it is! Oh man, I don't want to score like that, but uh, anyways, I'll take the win. We now advance our streak to a two-game win streak, so we're gonna raise that buy now minimum to 2,000. So let's take a look at the take a look at the stats here. A little bit of a cheesy goal by our team, but we win three to two, 16 to 13 of shots, eight minutes time attack to six. Take a look at the three stars there. Phil Kessel getting one star, Chris Kunitz also getting the second star, and Matt Duchesne scoring the game winner. Gets the third star. So anyways, I'll meet you guys at the buy now page. And uh, we'll raise that buy now minimum to 2,000. Alright, so we're at the auction search page. So let's choose the 16th player. And let's see what we get. The buy now minimum has already been raised. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Steve Downey is going to be the next pickup. Nothing really good on these pages anyways. Uh, Steve Downey, I'll buy him out. And we'll have to find a place for him to fit in. Alright guys, here's the new team with Steve Downey in it. Anyways, Jamie Benton is now going to be taking Corey Perry's spot. While Steve Downey is on the right wing on the third line. We will bring back Corey Perry in a little bit after this game. But for right now, we have to use Steve Downey no matter what. Anyways, we're starting the second game here. Let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, baby. Olamook versus the Montreal Canadiens. Look how red our jerseys look. Oh no, and he gets a goal. Phil Kessel scores on us, making it one to nothing. 
The jerseys are really distracting me for some reason. I don't know. It almost looks like it's a matte red like look to it. There's no actual variance in colors. But anyways, let's keep it going here. And score! Oh my goodness. Are you serious? One more chance. Four check. No. How do you miss that? Lemieux, yes, we finally get a goal. Oh, man. Well, at least if we don't give him the shutout, we make it one-to-one -one with only 11 minutes left. Great goal. Final minute of the first period, Grossman sending Ben out into the Minnesota zone. Ben, away from Barker, he shoots, he scores! What a goal! What a play for Jamie Ben and a 2-0 lead. Wow. That truly... No, he gets the goal back. The same exact goal with Phil Kessel and Matt Duchesne once again. Anyways, it's 2-2 two to two now. Oh, man, we got, we're probably going to go into overtime now. All right, looks like it's going into overtime. 16-6 in shots. Uh, nine minutes time of attack at five. Still warming up in this game. Let's keep it going. No, and he does get the overtime goal. Anyways, we did lose that game fair and square 3-2 in overtime, which means we're still going to raise that buy now minimum to 500 extra, but uh, we don't get to continue that win streak. All right, so since we got an OT loss, we raised that buy now minimum by an extra 500, which means we're now at a buy now minimum of 2,500. So we're going to be choosing the 16th player here. So let's see what we get. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Alex Petrangelo, which we should actually be able to pick up now since we did have to remove him from the team last time. So let's buy out Petrangelo, see where he fits in. All right, so welcome back to the team, guys. We moved around a couple of those players. Uh, we moved back in Sergei Bobrovsky into the main goalie because uh, Pekarine is tired in net right now, as well as Petrangelo is now playing on the third line right defensive spot, playing alongside with Ryan McDonough. Don't exactly want to replace P.K. Subban and Kevin Shattenkirk and all these guys right now because these lines have been playing pretty well for me. I just need to make sure I play a little bit better defensively and uh, should be okay. So, also for offense... I'm leaving in Steve Downey. I thought he played a pretty good game other than the fact that he didn't score any goals. We're going to keep this game going. We're going to get into the third and final game. Let's see what we can do. All right, second game or third game here. We're facing the Sherbrooke Phoenix. And you know what? I'm going to admit right now, these jerseys are pretty ugly, the ones I'm wearing right now. They are completely red. It's just so blinding to my eyeballs. But anyways, let's get this going. Slap shot it. Oh, no. All right, let's get this game going. Oh no, it's so laggy. Oh my goodness. This guy definitely has the advantage because he's so used to this leg, but I'm definitely not. God damn, man. You gotta get wired, bro. Yes, we get a goal back in this complete lag fest. One to one. Jakob Borchek ties it back up, beating Carey Price. Oh, come on! Are you serious? Beautiful passing plays. Mario Lemieux! Pass it in front, pass it in front. Come on. Right there. Shoot! Ah, oh, you got the poke checks on. Yes! And there is a goal. We finally get the lead. Malkin comes out of the corner, and we do shoot a top right. Jeez! 2-1 now, only 5 seconds left in the second period. Alright, so second period stats here. We're playing pretty good so far, but let's take a look. 12-5 to five in shots, 6 minutes time of attack to 2. We got a couple breakaways as well, but we got to keep up some good gameplay here. It's not definitely a bad opponent. Oh, and there he is. He gets a goal uh, with Anze Kopitar, that's right. Does a little bit of a backhand forehand and then just shovels it backhand and he does tie it up. So now it's two to two. Gotta do something about that goal.
Yes, and there's a goal right back. We answer, I think, within 30 seconds, and Jakob Borchek beats Carey Price once again, making it 3-2. to two. That was a nice cheeky goal. Alright, and that is it. We finally win a game in regulation. We do win a 3-2. to two. Jakob Borchek playing a pretty good game as well, but I want to check out the three stars. Alright, so HC Olamook, I think that's how you say it, uh, versus Sherbrooke Phoenix, and we did beat them 3-2. to two. 13 to 10 shots, 9 minutes time of attack to 4. Played a pretty good game. Jakob Borchek, we could have got him a special card if we did get a hat-trick on him, but he is still a first star with two goals. Alright guys, so this is quite a while after I recorded Hut Roulette already, but I went to edit the Hut Roulette. I figured out the audio and video clip for the very end is very, very bad, and I just cannot line up the audio and the video together. So I decided, instead of uh, commentating over that clip, I'm just going to redo the whole clip and pick up a new player. So, it's not going to be anything different. We're going to be choosing the 13th player here. We already raised that buy now minimum to 3500 so let's see what we get, guys. So it's going to be... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Henrik Zetterberg, 92 overall pickup. I know he is 97, but I'm very excited to try him out. Let's buy him out, see where he fits in. Alright, so since I'm recording a little bit later, there is a lot of background noise right now, so I do apologize about that. However, I need some help building this team. The team needs a little bit of a change, and it's gone very, very messy. And uh, as you can see here, we got all the players I do like to play with. Malkin, Boyle, Duchesne, our second line, Perry, Getzlaf, Voracek. Third line, Ben, Lemieux, Zetterberg. And fourth line, Giroud, Sakic, Parise. And defense isn't really changed. I'm going to keep Bobrovsky in that because he did win that last game. But you guys, once again... Post your line suggestions in the comment box below, and you guys also upvote your favorite ones, and I will use one of those lineups in the next episode of Hot Roulette. Anyways, that's just about it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.